The Road to Grace is the third book in the Walk series. The first book, The Walk, was about Alan Christopherson after losing his wife and his home and, and his business, how he, rather than take his life, decides to go on a walk, to walk as far away as he can from Seattle and everything he, that's brought him pain. So he's walking to Key West, Florida. The second book in the series, Miles to Go, deals with um, the anger and the pain that he's feeling and how he starts to reach outside of himself and, and meet others. The third book, The Road to Grace, is precisely about grace. Uh, Alan has come, uh, he reaches a halfway point across the United States. And I think of all the books in the series, The Road to Grace is, is perhaps the most interesting because he meets the most interesting people and um, a more diverse group of people. And I think for the first time he starts to feel some emotions that he has kept from himself since he lost Mikel. I think one of the really important lessons that comes out of The Road to Grace is the real nature of forgiveness. And I think it's maybe the most important lesson that's in the book. He meets someone who has been more betrayed than he has. He meets someone who has had more taken away from him than he has. And to suddenly see this, to see how this man has responded and his perception of forgiveness, that forgiveness really has nothing to do with the trespasser, but it really has to do with us. The ship releases the anchor because the ship is going someplace, not because the anchor matters. And that's what, that's what Alan starts to realize, that holding on to this anger and this hate and um, this betrayal is not doing him any good. And, it, and it's not something that would make Mikkel proud of him. And so this is, I think, the most important lesson. It's this lesson of forgiveness, um, not just for those who have trespasses, but forgiveness of ourselves. People have asked me if I've scripted out the entire walk series, and the answer is no. The book is a journey for me as well. And so as they get ready on every book, we, um, I get my daughter, and who's my writing assistant, and we get in a rental car, and we drive the walk. We drive where Alan goes. We stay where he stays. We, we eat where he eats. And so it gives a, a depth of, um, of understanding. We really kind of get what he's feeling as he goes through. And as such, I can't possibly script that because I don't know what the road's going to bring to us uh, any more than Alan does. And so um, what I found in this strip, this last one, um, it was really enjoyable. The ex people and the experiences we had along the way were just really magical. Even and some of them were just funny, like the, the Red Hat Society we ran into in Sioux Falls. And so they found themselves in the book. The Road to Grace is more, more of a potpourri of experiences, so I think it's a little more interesting than the last one.